The V-Lock is a two-compression ring-type tube connector that makes full use of Fujikin's accumulated cutting-edge technology. And it is also a flareless type fitting that permits connection to a tube without applying flare processing. The V-Lock tube fitting is composed of four basic parts, body, front ring, back ring, and nut. We will now explain the seal principle of the V-Lock fitting. Turning the nut clockwise to tighten the fitting allows the back ring and the front ring to compress a tube for firm gripping, thus realizing a mechanism of preventing external leaks of fluid. The operating temperature range, the surface fluid, and the body materials of the V-Lock fitting are as follows. The material, the outside diameter accuracy and the hardness of a tube to be applied are as follows. Each maximum operating pressure for nominal diameter and tube thickness at room temperature is as shown in the figure. Determine the maximum operating pressure under a specific operating temperature by multiplying the value for room temperature with a pressure drop coefficient shown here. For details, see the instruction manual. Long hours of use at a temperature exceeding 400 degrees Celsius may significantly deteriorate sealed performance. In that case, please contact us for consultation. Wrong selection or handling of equipment may cause system trouble or an accident. Therefore, thoroughly read the instruction manual for careful action. Cautionary note for assembling a V-lock fitting. When a fitting was dropped by mistake, check for damage and attached foreign matter before use. Use a correct size of spanner that fits with the hex dimension. Please note that a millimeter base part and an inch base part require different tools at the same time of assembling a fitting. When tightening the fitting, be sure to securely immobilize the body first and then tighten the nut. In addition, do not turn the body with the nut fixed. Doing so may result in easy seizure of the body tapered surface, causing leaks. Assembly Procedures Check to see that all the parts of a fitting are properly fitted. Take special care not to insert a back ring in a direction reverse to its insertion. Insert a tube straight until its end smoothly contacts the body shoulder part. The tube will be held lightly on the tapered surface of the body shoulder. After tightening the nut until it becomes finger tight, put a match mark each on the body and the nut. This mark will serve as a zero point position indicator. From this zero point position, turn the nut with a spanner clockwise by one and one quarter for firm tightening, which can be checked with the moved match mark. This completes the entire assembly procedures. Reassembly procedures. To remove the nut, first immobilize the body using a spanner and turn the nut counterclockwise. If a tube cannot be pulled out from the fitting body, then this would mean the fitting is functionally damaged. Therefore, replace the fitting with a new one. Before reassembling the fitting, check the body tapered surface and the front ring part for attached foreign matter. Insert the front ring until it contacts the body tapered surface. Finger tighten the nut and then put a match mark each on the body and the nut. This mark will be used as a zero point position indicator. 
From this zero point position, turn the nut with a spanner clockwise by one quarter for firm tightening, which can be checked with the moved match mark. This completes the entire assembly procedures. For a plug and a port connector, tighten the nut only by a one-quarter turn from the zero-point position, regardless of their sizes.